Hi there, I'm Natasha, and this is Always Be Crafting. And it's Saturday morning, and on Saturdays I sew. Which means I just woke up not long ago. I haven't showered or dressed. No makeup. Not that I ever wear makeup. But this is what I look like. And I'm putting myself out on the interwebs like this. Honest, true, authentic, I guess. That's who I am. And um, I have a new sewing machine. It's very exciting. But it's also scary. And it's also frustrating. But it's also wonderful. It's a mixed bag, right? So I have been working on a by Annie project called, oh, what's it called? Travel Essentials, Travel Essentials. And here, I'll show you, I have it to my side. I'm about to put on the final pocket. It's the first time I've done the bag. I think I've been going too slow on it because between reading the direction and doing the step, I'm letting too much time pass. Um, I have videos to watch and sort of like I watch the video and then I'm like, oh, okay, I understand. But then I don't do it right away. So things marinate in my brain and sometimes I don't double check myself. Like I think I've made all my cuts properly, but I don't think I made all my cuts properly. <laughs> like I didn't double check, you know, double check. I don't think I double checked because let's show you. So here is the, um, the bag as it stands right now. So this will be the outside pocket one. And now the next one's going to look upside down, but that's okay. Cause the thing kind of rolls pocket two. So they just trim off the sides. Here's the handle. That's different than the pattern. I changed it hide my face so you can zoom it so it focuses and then the front flap this is I think too long based on what I was like reviewing this morning in preparation for the next step I think this strap is too long so usually when there's a step that um I think uh oh I made a mistake I can just kind of unstitch it I can't unstitch this because it's held in rivets. This is permanent. There's, I don't, I don't see a way to be able to take it out and put it back in. I could take it out, but then I'd have a hole. I have no way to repair the hole. I do want this to be functional. Okay. So the other side, okay. From the top. mesh pocket, clear vinyl pocket, clear vinyl pocket. So now the rivets will be covered up on this side. You see the bottom of the clear vinyl and this is where the next pocket is going. Okay. Now remember how I said I watch the videos, I read the directions and then I just sort of let things marinate. Let me get the final pocket and I'll show you what I messed up on. I might be able to work around, but I'll show you how I messed up. Okay, so the final pop it, pop it. <laughs> the final pocket is a dimensional pocket and I, here it goes, okay. Here's the final dimensional pocket. Do you see this, how it's all finished at the edges? I was supposed to leave the zipper tape long so I could unzip this as I attach it so I could lay this a bit more flat. Now, I'm hoping that once I lay this on here, I'll be able to clip it without too much issue, but to be able to sew this part, the first part on, 
it's better in the directions to be unzipped fully. And I can't unzip this fully because this has been sewn. And this has been sewn. Could I pop those stitches? Yes. Will I probably lose my zipper pull? Yes. Could I pop my stitches, lose my zipper pull, and reattach my zipper pull? Possibly. Does that sound like more work? I think it's more work. I think I'm better off. I think I'm better off just smushing and hoping for the best than popping stitches taking off the zipper pull and then reattaching the zipper pull afterwards, I think. But I made it harder for myself because I didn't follow directions. I think it's gonna be really adorable. And then the final step after that is the binding, which is around here somewhere. The binding's around here somewhere. It's the same um, polka dots as the inside. Blah, these polka dots. That's the fabric that's gonna go all the way around as the binding. So that is one project I'm sewing this morning. And the other project I'm sewing is a shirt. It's over there, I'm not gonna get it out. So if you see me doing those two things, I hope you'll get to see me do both of those things. And theoretically, I should come on at the end to wrap this up. All right, thank you. the well almost finished I've, I think I'm gonna do one thing all right so here is the carrier I have this cute little hello gorgeous tag at the top completely forgot to put my my personalized always be crafting tag in 
like I do. I meant to put it here on the outside. Just tuck it in right here. So I might just go back and add that with um, a hand needle and thread. Um, I put it somewhere. Oh, it's over. That's right, because I put it in a new place. It's now behind where I'm standing currently, but because I'm on my new sewing machine, it's not near my new sewing machine. So I didn't even think. My old sewing machine is at the shop getting a piece repaired. So I didn't even put it into my brain. Anyways, um, okay, so here's what it is. The, this pocket here on the outside holds a secret strap. So if you're at like a hotel or something and you want to put it over a closet pole or a shower pole or something, curtain rod, you can hang it easily and then tuck that strap away, hides in that pocket. And then it rolls up like this and closes like this. And that's what I mean where I said, I think I made this part too long. And so now in kind of putting it together, I think that I can just fold this back like that and it's perfect, right? So now I have to hand stitch, pardon me, camera, hand stitch this to this. But because this is webbing and it's going to be too difficult to sew through, I'm going to loop through using embroidery floss, which I have over here in this basket that I made the other day. If you were watching my videos, I made a little rope basket. Here it is. And I have embroidery floss. And the colors in, of the embroidery floss I happen to have on the side match perfectly. Ta-da! So I'm going to get myself set up with a better needle. This needle is more for working with sweaters. It's not going to be able to pierce this. And I may have to pull um, this floss apart a little bit, cut a piece and pull it apart. So I'll put you back onto the fast watching so because that'll take a long time. But otherwise, pretty cute, right? So yeah, I'm going to hand stitch with regular needle and thread a my tag i think what did i say i was going to do it i think i'm gonna do it on this side here so it'll get covered when it's like this but i'll know the person i made it for will know i made it for them if they forget uh, i haven't decided what strap i'm using for this and i'm guessing the person i'm giving this to is probably just going to put it in their luggage and may not even want a strap. These are just sort of optional, but I might include a little chain or something so she can throw it over her shoulder if she wants. All right, 